Good morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Excuse the minor microphone wobbles here. Getting you updated on what's going on with the complete forecast into the rest of the weekend in just a little bit. We'll stay tuned for more on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. If you've never tuned in here before, great opportunity again to learn more about what's happening with your forecast in and around this particular area. And if you have questions or concerns, please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to know more about what you see here and would love to know more about what you would like to see on here, uh, if at all possible. We would love to see a little bit more about what's going on uh, in and around the Mid-South area for tonight. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Currently, again, very quiet in the Mid-South, not really expecting to see too much of anything going on throughout the rest of the day today, at least early on. More chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a possible problem uh, into this evening. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Give me just one second here to welcome all of our Facebook viewers into the mix. And showing again a fairly quiet morning. If you're just starting off, could be the possibility of some problems with fog out across the Mid-South area. If you've never joined us before, forecast information here, social media information here, here, and there. So that ought to help you get started and get you a little bit more details as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. Currently, again, a lot of sunshine out across much of the area. Not seeing a lot of changes or questions out across the area for right now. We continue again to see the potential for uh, more showers and thunderstorms for later on today, but just not much happening. St. Francis in Cordova camera also looking very nice. City Hall in Germantown also not seeing too much in the way of major amounts of problems. A little bit of haze and fog out toward the horizon for this morning, but beyond that really just not that much going on. Radar in the Mid-South, if I can get my nimble fingers to do what they need to be doing here. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Again, with radar so far, we're just not getting a lot of anything in and around the Mid-South so far, and doubtful we're going to be seeing much of anything until about mid to late morning. Then we see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms. A better potential of thunderstorms will exist around northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas, and the Missouri Boot Hill a little bit later on today, thanks to a cold front that is making its way into the Mid-South. That is going to drop closer to to us. Not going to have enough intensity, not enough strength to make its way all the way through the Mid-South area for later on. It would be nice, but definitely not going to be happening anytime soon on that. So again, we're going to be stuck with a few random thunderstorms across the Mid-South, and that's mainly going to be just about it. Let's take a look and see what's going on around the rest of the area for this morning. Currently, again, seeing not much of anything in the way of concerns of heavy amounts of fog, although we do have some visibilities out across the Mid-South back to around three miles close to the area around Somerville, and also seeing about a quarter mile visibility around Alcorn in Mississippi, Tunica and also down toward Pina uh, Panola County, Batesville, picking up fog as well, about a quarter mile. Same thing from the Jonesboro Municipal Airport. A little less than a quarter mile reported around Dyersburg for this morning. So again, if you have pr uh, plans to travel, this is where we're going to be seeing the best possibility of fog out across much of the Mid-South area and beyond, but that should be burning off here within about the course of the next few hours. Not a dense fog advisory in effect, so good news on that, but still, again, could be a potential problem out there. Not good news where the tropics are concerned. We again have a lot of activity going on with three different storms in the Atlantic. Jose is a Category 1 storm moving to the north at about 8 miles per hour. We have Lee, a tropical storm out into the Atlantic just off the African coast. Winds of about 40 miles per hour, so it's a very minimal tropical storm and kind of expected to remain that way into the next few days. The big problem is going to be with Maria. This is the worst possible news we could get out of this storm. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is expected to undergo what the National Hurricane Center is classifying as rapid intensification. More than likely going to be a hurricane later on today. Could be a major hurricane by the time we hit Wednesday afternoon and then making its way as a major hurricane. That's Category 3 and above. Winds of 120 miles per hour plus making its way over the area of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and eventually maybe making its way into the Bahamas. This is something that if you're going to be traveling traveling back toward Florida or the Keys. If you're in town, you're seeking shelter from Irma and you've been here for a few days waiting to go back to see if travel, if there's enough gas, if you've been allowed into your neighborhood, stuff like that, you got to watch this storm because, again, if you're going to be heading back, you may have to evacuate all over again depending on what goes on with this storm. 
So pay attention to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. Jose, again, is not really that much of a problem, but it is going to stand a chance of curving very close to the northeast United States, back up into and around portions of, say, Cape Cod. It also could curve farther out into the Atlantic. The main idea right now is it's going to be coming very close to the northeast United States, and that's going to send rip currents out, again, from Miami up to Boston. So swimming or boating, you could be looking at a lot of strong currents out there, especially if you're swimming. That could just sweep you right out to sea to about a mile or so offshore, and that's kind of dangerous and can tire you out very rapidly. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing any traveling for vacation purposes to the East Coast states in the near future. What's going on in the Mid-South area outside of some patchy fog? Really not that much expected at this time and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything. That cold front we're expecting is, again, going to try to make its way into the Mid-South earlier this afternoon, and then it just gets shoved backwards as a warm front. Too much high pressure back to the east of us. A lot of tropical air moving up this direction. And that means the very warm, sultry conditions will be continuing. Not a tropical system for us. Jose is not going to be affecting us at all, nor is there anything developing down in the Gulf of Mexico. So good news on that. Rest of the day today, again, if you're just tuning in and joining us, some very warm conditions expected out there. Mid to upper 80s to lower 90s for high temperatures into today. Chances of rainfall, again, we're not looking at huge amounts of possibilities out there, about a 15% chance, 20% chance at best. Low temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 60s to right around 70 degrees, and high temperatures on Monday, again, pushing 90 degrees. And we could see the possibility of some heat index numbers in the mid-90s or so. Not exactly dangerous, but it will be noticeable if you're going to be outdoors for a while. And that chance of precipitation greatest along where that cold front is located, right over Northeast Arkansas and the Missouri Boot Heel into tomorrow. Thanks to everybody for joining me on Twitter and also on Periscope. Like to have you along for this. If there's anything you'd like to see on here, definitely want to keep you updated as to what's going on. More information about the forecast, again, available on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Also available on my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. Would love to have you along uh, for the ride there, if at all possible. And also on my Instagram page. And thanks to everybody who is moving along with some very nice pictures for this morning. Got some very good ones out there for the day today. And if you have any questions about what we can show on air, we would love to be able to show your pictures on air. Uh, we would love to be able to pass those along if at all possible. And if you have anything out there, sunrise, sunset, whatever you got, we'd love to know more about it. So please let me know about that on Twitter, Periscope, or Facebook. And we'd love to have you along for the ride on that. Seven-day forecast is available at wreg.com slash weather. And again, very warm all the way through the first day of fall, which occurs this Friday at 3.02. That's the the official switch over from summer to fall and again into next weekend still feeling very much like summertime not much is going to be changing there unfortunately anytime soon and again you can pick up this and a lot more at wreg.com slash weather again you can join me for more on the forecast if you can't stick around for the whole thing please join me on the east arkansas broadcast network station on country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 be glad to have you along for the ride there beautiful this morning again a few thunderstorms possible this afternoon, but beyond that, nothing major taking place at this time, so definitely good news there. But again, if you have outdoor plans today, be prepared to get back indoors again to make certain you're protected. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. It's more than just a silly catchphrase that you may think is silly, but it could save your life, so that's what makes it important. So keep that in mind for safety's sake. More coming up throughout the rest of the day. i got to get back out on set for the last weather segment on weather uh, News Channel 3, weather for daybreak, and stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for Sunday morning's edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. <laughs>